So Ants for me is a massive letdown compared to the late 90s animation movies around this time, The Iron Giant, Toy Story 1, Toy Story 2 and A Bug's Life were all made around a similar time and on every metric do those shit all over this film. That's not to mention that Sylvester Stallone was in this movie. Yeah. Hmm. Ah. Okay, mama. Uh. Yeah. And it shows that even he couldn't lift this movie to any decent standard. I think the major reason why this movie is a letdown is the animation. The animation really sucks for its time period of the back end of the nights. In all fairness, I, I think you can have a bit of leeway considering it was one of DreamWorks' first animation projects. However, it was terrible. Bear in mind, we saw Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs in 1937 have better animation than this. I hope, I hope, I hope. That, my friend, is embarrassing. And to say that, okay, he didn't have the biggest of budgets, well, guess what? The Iron Giant had a smaller budget than Ants and still managed to bring out a better film than Ants. And the animation was better than Ants. Everything that this movie so-called had for it and, and the money that they used, you can't tell where it has been used. It looked like they splashed all the cash on the actors and actresses rather than using the cash to put towards better animation, better state-of-the-art work to compare and to compete against Disney and these others. And you might be like, well, the story must be good. Well, ah, hold, hold on there. As the story isn't that great either, as to be fair, the story is about Princess Bala just wanting to find out, oh, how do the other side live? Then she goes down into a pub, finds Z, then they start dancing around, flirting around a bit. And bear in mind, she's got a fiance, by the way, and it's just one of those where she just fancied to go down and have a dance, I guess. She does that, goes back up to the posse, and then Z wants to go find her and everything like that. So he goes on a massive journey, trying to find her, even becoming a soldier, swapping roles with his friend, who is Sylvester Sloan in this film, and then suddenly realises, oh my god like this is harder than he thought it would be being a soldier whatever watched all his comrades die becomes a hero goes up to the posh suite uh the king queen whatever and then gets basically dobbed in by the person that he fell in love with which is princess balin was like hang on a minute you're not a soldier you're a worker what were you doing and then basically uncovered his thing of lies and to stop himself basically from getting in trouble he holds Princess Bala hostage, but takes her out of the colony by an accident, and then the two go on a journey to Insectopia whilst being chased down by her fiance. Ah, this movie's like so basic that it makes the Marvels look interesting. Princess. <gasps> and this is saying something. I mean, the best part about this film is up to you guys. It's either between Sylvester Stallone or the relationship between Z and between Princess Bala. It's up to you which one you choose. Let me know down in the comments down below because it's one of them. And of course, the ending was such a shocker. We saw Princess Bala and we saw Z get together. Who would have thought? Everybody, everybody saw that coming. And if there weren't anybody that saw that coming, you didn't watch the film properly. And I'm not surprised you didn't watch the film properly because it's fucking boring. And another thing about this film, thank you for wasting an hour and 23 minutes of my day. Thank you. I will never get that back. So to summarise this movie then, easily 6.5 out of 10 and a bank average movie. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments down below, good, bad, terrible, amazing. Let us know all that jazz down in the comments. Also, if you're into more Ants content and actually a better film than Ants, check out our The Ant Bully Movie Review right now.